Now we're going to create our first project with Unreal Engine 4.23. We want to click on the yellow orange launch button. That's what we're going to do first. So go ahead and do that. And this is going to launch and open up our project. I'm just going to minimize this and we'll see the editor begin to open up. And this will bring us this window right here. So it's showing all my existing projects here that I have that I could open up. But we want to do a new project. So click on the New Project tab. And we don't want Unreal Studio. We don't want C++. This is where we get into some of the coding, which we don't want to mess with right now. And go over to the Blueprint one right here. And for this project, we just want to create a blank project. Later on we're going to we're going to demo some of these these other different ones. First of all, make sure you're on desktop and console. This also gives us a mobile or tablet version. We want maximum quality. And this gives us an option for starter content or no starter content. What we want to do is we want to have some starter content. So go ahead and select that. Choose where you want to save your project on your computer. And I've created a folder that says Unreal Projects on my D drive. And then we can name our project. Can't have any blank spaces in there or unusual symbols. It'll give you uh, errors. Let's just call this one my project underscore zero one because we're going to make a couple of these throughout this course. And then down here, Create Project. Okay. Now Unreal Engine has opened up a kind of a default level for us, which we don't, we don't really want to use at this, at this point. So let's go and let's just take a, a look around here at, at what we have. And down here in our Content Browser window, if you notice way over here in the corner, if you click on that, it's going to open up, you know, a little section where we can see our content a lot better. So this little button here, I always like to expand that. Down here, we can see the starter content that we've imported into our scene. But first, what I want to do is, is let's get, let's get rid of this particular level. So we want to go up here to file. And we want to choose new level and let's just click on the default one there on the left hand side and this is going to create an empty level with nothing in it however it does give us some cool things it gives us some atmospheric fog if you look over here a floor a light source which is a directional light a player start if we wanted to have a, a player moving around sky sphere skylight and a sphere reflection capture We'll get into what these do um, in a little bit. So the first thing that we want to do is we have no characters. We have, you know, a little bit of materials and some architecture and things like that in here, but no character to import. So we need to get a character. So let's go to our Epic Launcher and let's go to the Marketplace tab if you're not there. And let's search products for animation animation starter pack and here it is here it's showing that I already own it so what you want to do is just click on this and download it it will then put it into your library so go ahead and do that because we're going to need the animation starter pack because it's going to give us the really cool robot character the little mannequin or cyborg looking dude. And then once you do that, it's going to show up down here in your, your assets, your vault is what it's called. So then what we're going to do once it's there is the animation starter pack is here. So we're going to do click add to project. And then we want to search for ours. I have so many in here. 
I need to put this show all projects. My project 01, we want to select that. Now this is telling me that it's not compatible with version 4.23. It actually is. It says select the closest alternative version. So we're going to select 4.22. If for some reason you're having a problem with this, then you may have to download the engine 4.22 in order to get this asset until they hopefully by you know very shortly they're gonna make it compatible with 4.23 and then click add to project and we can minimize this actually I want to leave that up there so you can see it was showing it down you'll see it downloading from here and then up in our, let me just turn this off for a second. Up in our content, right under our content folder, we have the animation starter pack. So let's go ahead and drop that down. Click the little arrow here and it'll say UE4 mannequin. We'll click that down. And down here in mesh, you'll see that we have SK mannequin mannequin physics asset and the mannequin skeleton and what we want to do is we just want to grab i just want to show you just click on it with the left mouse button click and hold down and drag him in right onto the floor his feet should go right onto the floor one of the things i really really like about unreal engine is the simplicity of the drag and drop uh, workflow so now we can either use our mouse wheel to move in and out, or what I want to share with you is a really, really important hotkey. It's the F key on your keyboard. Press the F key and it's going to zoom right into your character right up close. So that's just a shortcut. You're going to be using this hotkey a lot. So remember the F key. And the next thing you're going to want to do is hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and then press the left mouse button and this is how you rotate around your object. So he's a cool looking robot isn't he? So you can go up and down with your mouse thing. Now by holding down the middle mouse button or the wheel still holding the alt key you can move back and forth. If you don't hold down the Alt key, this is what happens. It's hard to rotate around the object. Now, another thing that you can do is by holding down the right. Some people like this, especially game players. Hold down the right mouse button key. And then using your W, S keys on the keyboard. D, A, E going up and down you can you can um, navigate around your your character like this I don't really like that method some people love it and they just click around they're better at it than I am or something but I prefer just to select my object hit the F key hold the alt key you know and from then I can zoom in and out as well you know with and then just pivot around the object this is really important, so make a note. You might even want to write this down. Take some notes on a, a legal pad or a notebook because you're going to want to refer back to this. It'll drive you crazy. When I first started Unreal Engine, it took me like weeks before I figured out how to do that because it wasn't really in the documentation. To deselect, just press the escape key or click over here in this area. So there's our mannequin. He's, he's in, the, in the scene. He's ready to be animated. So let's play around with that. Click on, I call him Manny for short. And over here in the right hand side under the details tab, we have animation mode that says use animation blueprint or use animation asset. Go ahead and select the use animation asset. Right now there's no animation to play, so let's do the drop down menu here and see what pops up is all of these animations. 
that are available for this character. But all these that you got for free when we got it from the marketplace. Now we can search these assets, which is nice if you have a bunch of them. Go ahead and type in idle. Let's just get the idle ones. And let's drop down here and use the idle pistol. Bam! Our character is in the pistol pose. He's holding his hands ready to hold a pistol, but he doesn't have that particular prop right now. So how do we get that animation to play in the level here? Well, for the gameplay, just click play, and then you're going to have to move around using your W, A, S, D keys on the keyboard, like a gamer, right? Like we're playing a video game. And then you can move around. But you can see that the character is, he's in an idle animation, and he's slightly moving his arms and everything like that. Let's pre press escape. And I want to show you the, the way I prefer to test out the animations in the, in the level. Is this drop-down menu right here, right next to the play button, I change this to current camera location. So choose that and then choose simulate. So now every time we press play, we're going to get the simulate and now we can just kind of rotate around and it's not in gameplay mode. We can still move around and so on. Up here, press stop, press play. There's your, there's your, buttons right there to be able to start the animation and stop the animation. Okay, let's try another thing. Let's go to, we got the idle pistol. Let's do the rifle hip. So now his arms move down and he's holding a rifle, an invisible rifle. Let's click play. And I'm holding down the Alt key on the keyboard, left mouse button to rotate around him. To get it really accurate, select the character, press F, and then see it pivots exactly around the character. You'll find yourself using this over and over and over. So you get the idea. Go ahead and, and take some time and play around with all, you know, all the different animations here. Hit escape to stop and to deselect the character. I also want to show you something else before we end this particular video. Let's go back to the animation starter pack. And you see when I clicked on that, all of these different animations show up. These are, these are visual representations of, of the uh, animation. Now there's some settings in here. Down here at the bottom, you have view options. So click on that and you can see that you can scale these up or down. So if you want really big thumbnails, you can make them really big. You want them really small, you can make them really small. This is up to you. So be aware that, that that's in there for you. The other thing is if you go up here and hover over, you can expand your, your window. And it's just interactive like that. So the view options, scale, let's make this a little bit bigger. And the other thing that you can do is, let's choose one of these crouch idle rifle hip. Double click on that. This opened up in my other monitor. So let me drag it over here. It will open up another window with that particular animation. It's opening up the animation window. This is dockable, so you can click and hold and drag it right up here. So now you've got a big window. You can click back and forth to see. The movement is the same way. Middle mouse button to move up and down. Hold down the Alt key. And you can see that his feet are, are above the, the floor, so we can change that by going up here. And it's already selected to align floor to mesh, but it looks like it's a little bit off. So we have to change that to around 10. And now his feet are right smack on the floor. 
Down here we have our animation controls, so we can pause the animation, we can play it backwards, we can play it forwards. The lighting over here, it's set to auto exposure, which moves the brightness up and down depending on where you're swiveling around in the scene. Most of the time I'll take this off and I'll set this to around negative one because I prefer to have my lighting stay level all the time when I'm working. So right here is your lighting control. If you do minus two, it's going to be brighter. So this is just all, you know, according to your preference and what, and what you like. So this is the animation window. Later on, we're going to come back to this because I'm going to show you how you can actually tweak and make fine adjustments right here in this window. If you wanted to change and move his arm out a little bit, make his head move differently, that type of thing. So back here, and uh, that's it for this. In the next video, we are going to get into some more fun things.